Hello everybody and welcome to today's Destiny video. So today it is Arms Day, the day we meet Banshee and the day we get our guns. Um, last week I didn't actually do a video of Arms Day but I did still pick up the gear um, so we'll go over what I actually picked right now. So Banshee, what have you got for us for last week? So first up we've got the Saurus Ori 41 and this one's kind of up to you. You can either go with stability or range. This first one here has really good stability perks. Um, and if you want stability, then the first one is easily the one to go for. But if you want range, then the second one is easily the one to go for. It's got loads of range perks. I am going to go with the second one because I want more range on this gun because it's already got decent stability. So I don't really care about the stability on that. Um, next up, we've got the Soros PDX-45. Arguably one of the best pulse rifles in the game. Um, I would say go with the first one here. Purely because the perks on it are actually pretty decent. It's got really good stability perks and it's got small bore, which is an awesome perk to have anyway. And if you put appendage magazine and small bore on, it kind of compensates itself out a little bit. And it's got decent sights as well, so that's awesome. Uh, so next up we've got, so let's actually pick up that one right now, boom. Next up we've got the Uzume RR4. Not my favorite sniper in the game, but five in the magazine is always valuable. Um, now I, Personally, I'm going to go with number one here just because it's just got a better perk set in general. It's got a little bit more stability, which is what I want with a high rate of fire, low impact sniper rifle. So there we go. Now we're on to the main bit of the video where we go over the foundry orders. Starting with the Ominous D from Hockey. This auto rifle is actually an okay gun. I would say go for it if you like auto rifles. It's a good auto rifle and it's fun to use as well. If you want perks of this, I'd say look for stability and a little bit extra range. And But other than that, it's, it's just a really, really good gun. It's got a really good ammo count. It's just a really good gun for this archetype of assault rifles. Next up, we've got the Omelon Uthern HC4. This is a hand cannon from Omelon this time. And um, this hand cannon is okay. That's the best thing I can say about it, really. It's an okay hand cannon. Um, it, it's got decent everything stats. Like, all of its stats are pretty okay for a hand cannon. Apart from its ammo count, it's really low. So, if you can, I'd look for some ammo perks. Other than that, though, this gun's just pretty meh. It's, like, okay. Up next, we've got the Herja D from Hockey. This gun is unbelievably underrated in the game at the moment. Somebody I know recently did a video about how undervalued this gun is. So I would suggest picking this up, having a look for yourself. It's my go-to PvE gun. Um, I haven't used it much in PvP, but I've heard very, very good things about it in PvP. But I've infused mine quite high in light um, because I love it so much. It's a really, really good gun. If you want any specific perks on this, I'd suggest stability. Um, but other than that, this is just a beast gun. It's just a really good all-around gun. We're on to our penultimate one now. This is an Uzume RR4. This is the sniper rifle we just picked up, so not the Irene. This is the low impact, high rate of fire sniper rifle. This gun is okay. It's an okay gun. I wouldn't suggest using it over the thousand yard stare or the Irene RR4. Um, but if you don't have either of those guns or if you're just pissing about in 6v6, then I'll suggest picking this gun up anyway. It's a pretty cool gun. Um, I do enjoy using it, um, but my Irene I just love way more. So uh, if you are looking for specific perks on this gun, you need stability. Stability is certainly going to be up there with your perks to get because this gun has reasonably low stability compared to its rate of fire. So you really want some more stability with this. Last but not least, we've got the Irene RR4 from Armalon. This is my favorite PvP gun in the entire game. Um, I love it. I use it as much as I possibly can. Um, I... I fell in love with this gun. At first, I didn't really like it that much. Ever since getting used to the scope and getting used to the way the gun handles, I really, really like it. And it's become my favorite sniper in the game. And I would suggest you picking this up. For perks, I would suggest looking for things which make your recoil go down a little bit. So that means your stability, obviously. Uh, so you don't want as much stability. That would be really handy, especially for those revive snipes. Um, it would make this gun really insane. Um, so look out for those kind of perks, but otherwise this is a really, really good gun and you shouldn't even need good perks to make it good. Even if you've got bare bones Irene RR4 with the baseline stats, you're still going to beat out other snipers. So that is all of them covered. Let's go over the top three that I'm going to be picking this week. 
Starting at number one, I am going with the Irene RR4. Favourite weapon in the game. I cannot make this not number one. It's just got to be number one. Second place goes to the Herger D. Again, one of my favourite guns in the game. Really, really good workhorse of a pulse rifle. I'd certainly suggest picking this up and telling your friends to pick this up as well. And then finally, I'm going to go with the Ominous D for my third pick. Purely because assault rifles are really underrated and this gun is a good auto rifle. Um, so I would suggest picking this up just because it's good. It's just a good auto rifle and if you haven't used it already, pick this up. If you're not picking this up, then I'll say go with the um, Uzume RR4 sniper rifle. Um, but that means you've got two sniper rifles and obviously that's not ideal. So one auto rifle, one pulse rifle and one sniper rifle is fine. So that is our top three. If you did enjoy the video, please do drop a like below, subscribe, all that jazz. Make sure you follow me on Twitch as well because I will be Twitch streaming on Thursday and Friday of this week. So I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye, Guardians.